Good morning, everybody. Thank you for stopping into my channel. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but we're going to get right back at it. I got uh, a lot of stuff to tell you guys about, so hang on to the end of the video. We'll go over that. But right now, we're talking about shift levers. So this is my O2 Silverado. You guys know these came with the plain shift levers. This is an NBS shift lever. This guy is an NNBS shift lever, and they're pretty much bolt-in. Well, they can be. And uh, I'll show you guys what I might do. Just see where the handle ends up. You can bolt it in, but it ends up being a little bit lower. So what I might do is end up cutting it halfway through right there, bending it, and then welding a little bead around it. Um, but if, you, if it doesn't bother you, you can leave it. Um, I'll show you my Duramax real quick. So on the Duramax, the 0607s came with the NNBS shifter. This one has the you know tap shift up and down for the uh, manual mode. This truck, does, the black truck, does not have that capability. So I didn't want to get the Duramax one or the newer um, half tons do have that capability, but mine doesn't. So I didn't want to have it and have it not function. So it's got the normal one, just the tow haul. You see this one kind of ends up in the same spot, right about you know right below the level of the dash. If I can show you in the camera. Right below the level of the dash. So I feel like in the black truck it might be a little bit down here in park. So we'll put it in real quick and we'll see. So this is going to be kind of a how-to video. I wasn't really happy with what I saw online about how to put these in. I see a lot of videos of them in or pictures or write-ups, whatever. But I want to show you guys, you know, step-by-step -step how to do it and uh, how I might do it differently. You got to pull this bezel off. There's no screws. It just get your fingers behind it. It pops off. You have to put um, your shift lever in first and put the steering wheel all the way down. And then it'll come out. And then uh, I'll show you here in a second how to get this off. Alright, once you got that off, um, real quick. Put green LEDs behind there. Tell me what you think. It's kind of cool. I was thinking about doing green and all the switches and everything. So I did red in the Duramax. I'll show you guys that later. The end of the video but anyway back to this so i think these come with screws i don't think i ever put mine back in you gotta pull this guy out kind of just give it a firm tug over there and then these just snap together so you gotta kind of work with it figure out where the thing is all right you see it's got these little tiny clips i kind of just pushed it in and out till they one gave way bottom one off let's see maybe I did put a screw back in nope so actually I think take this this uh, knee bolster off maybe a little bit easier so these just pop in at the top and then you have two seven millimeters at the bottom get those out real quick so that'll make it a little easier to get this piece out and it kind of, there's a groove, it kind of sits behind the wheel a little bit. I kind of feel like you're going to break it, but I don't think you will. Never broke mine, so. Alright. So this is the wire you want. For all you guys, uh, your tow, tow haul stops working. Check this, because usually they wear through. I've already replaced mine. And then if you follow it back here, there'll be a little connector. So this one came with a four pin connector and I took it apart. A lot of people cut them and splice them. I don't like to do that because these wires are tiny. It's kind of hard. So what I did was you pull these gray ends out and it's got a little clip in there. And you get a little tiny like safety pin or something and you stick it down the front on the side. You see the little small end. These little tabs where it holds it in, so you push it in through the top to depress that tab, and then they pull out the bottom. I'm thinking that this plug is the same. If it is, we'll take that one apart and just put these two pins in that one. That way it connects to the factory connector. You don't have to cut and splice anything, but we will see here shortly. So it looks like it is the same kind of connector. See, this one only has two. So we'll reuse this. I'll show you guys how to take these apart. You just go over here to the top of the uh, shift lever. 
pull this boot back. There's just a Torx bit, just pull that. Here, get that out and then this handle pulls right out. So we're gonna take a mental note about where this is. So it's, you know, up out of the way, kinda of, if you look at straight at it, right at the corner of the CD player, a little bit below the dash. And we get the new one in, we'll see how it looks. So right off the bat, they look like they're similar in shape, but you overlay them, you can see how that one, the handle part is angled up a lot more, so I think I will end up doing that. But to pull this connector apart, use a little tiny flathead, pry that up, try and do this with one hand. You know, you get the idea. Pull that little clip out. Get that little guy out, and they're not free yet. Those just kind of hold in the backside. So now, what I use, what I find that works really well, when I put it, a oh, little SIM card ejector tool that you can get with your cell phones. Got a nice handle, and it's small enough. You stick it down the end. It will focus. And you want to depress these little tabs. Just kind of push them up, stick that in there. It should come out just like that. So set the in in or the NBS one aside, and since you depress the last ones, maybe bend them back out. And these don't matter which one goes where; it's just uh, you give a temporary ground to the computer, so it doesn't matter which side goes where. You can push the new ones in. Here, snap into place. Get your little piece. These just kind of hold the wires in extra secure so perfect you don't have to cut and splice anything and uh, these uh, shafts are the same size and the flat spot is on the same side as well so you'll just put it in put the screw back in so we'll go back to the chuck real quick just fits right in so don't forget your shift boot I'm just seeing where this is at first I'm gonna take it back off I've done that before put it all the way on and realize you don't have the shift boot on but remember this was a little higher up so it almost looks like it's in like reverse right now instead of park i think that's a little too low let's see what happens when we put it into gear yeah so drive is way too low for me it's almost like it's in first and then if you put it in first it's almost touching your knee so we're gonna take it back out and modify it so what i'm gonna do is use this cutoff wheel Cut a groove right there. Maybe like halfway through, we'll put it in the vise and then we'll bend it up. And it'll probably be strong enough to hold for a little bit, but I'll take it to one of my friends and have him just weld it. So it'll bead that way, it doesn't come apart. I doubt it will, that's a pretty thick shaft. So anyway, do that real quick and I'll show you. All right, so there it is. Be careful cutting through, about halfway is where I stopped. And you get to uh, you actually break through and you just get to where the wires run through it it's hollow in the middle so uh, you don't cut too far in stick it in the vise and bend it i just test fit it i really like where it sits now so really probably just a couple tack welds on the sides and it'll hold just fine but uh we'll put it in for now um i don't have a welder i have friends that weld so i'll see if i can talk one of them into tacking it for me all right, let's get in and see how it looks. All right, that's a lot better. I like that. And see, it really doesn't take a lot of force to, you know, move the shift lever, so I don't think it's gonna, even if you didn't weld it, I don't think it would break, but I like it. So let's hook the tow hole up and make sure it works. I don't see why it would, but let's see. I got a factory connector in there. It fit just like it should. Aha! 
Get a better look at that. Functions as it should. Yeah, I dig that. Nice little upgrade to kind of make it seem a little bit newer. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to. <laughs> and uh, I think I've made the decision that I want to do the 06 front end swap on this. I've tossed around the idea um, for years. I've actually mentioned, mentioned it in a couple videos. A lot of people say to do it. A lot of people say to don't. Um, I've decided I'm doing it. So I think it would be kind of cool. You know, I like this. Nice little upgrade. And this will match the, uh, the Duramax out there. Some little things. And here's a look from the other side. I really like that. Don't forget your air freshener. That'll make a big difference. Don't forget that. It'll never run right. All right, so there's my little how-to video. Thank you for sticking around for the whole thing. And if uh, you are interested, hang out for a couple more minutes. I'll talk about what we got going on um, moving forward. We're going to be keeping this and using it in the Yukon I have. I have a 99 Yukon that we're LS swapping, which is this guy right here. It's, uh, kind of a short block at the moment. We got new pistons and rings in it. Um, kind of just freshened up. Not rebuilding it. This engine was in great shape. We pulled this from a junkyard. Everything was immaculate, so we just left it alone. Put new pistons in it, new uh, rod bearings. Did take the crank out, just left it in there. Um, this was a six liter we pulled with a six liter cam. You guys remember the 90 I had, the 5.3 had a six liter cam. Not a lot different, a little bit bigger. It's not worth a swap. I like to go out and buy a six liter cam, but if you have one and you're putting a 5.3 together, Put it in there it's a little bit better a little bit more power a little more lift whatever so we got this going together i got just about everything i need for it i'm really excited about this swap so we're going to put this in that yukon so we can because it'll be controlled with the ls computer it'll have the capability to have the uh, tow haul button all it does is supplies a temporary ground to the computer to tell it to access or turn on a different set of parameters or something so this needs a little more modification. I'll go over that whenever we get there. But yeah, we got the engine coming together nicely. I guess I'll show you guys the Yukon real quick. Absolutely filthy. I already pulled the engine and got rid of it. Really all I need to do is get a drive-by cable harness from a 99 through 02. So I can marry the harnesses together. So that's pretty much it for the Yukon. Black truck, like I said, we'll do the 06 front end swap. So I'll be able to sell all this stuff, get rid of I mean, the hood's in good shape, just the paint's bad. No dents or anything, but it needs to be repainted. Everything else is good. And then the Duramax. She's been getting most of the attention lately. We got a uh, the fit, oh uh, what 15 and up style tow mirrors on it went over to my friend Greg's he helped me level them out look pretty good you see we got some fuel wheels over there so we're going with uh, different wheels and stuff you see these are kind of worn what better time to do it than now first person to guess what style size and offset these are correctly get a free decal I'll give you a hint, they're not 18s like these, and they're not hostages, and they're not 12 lights. So again, thank you guys for taking the time. Um, if you guys could do me a huge favor, go back and watch my last videos about putting the LEDs um, in the Duramax. I posted it on a uh, championship Sunday, so there's a whole bunch of football going on, so I didn't get a lot of traffic, but go check that video out too, really cool. Um, again, Greg helped me out. If you guys want to go check out Greg, his uh, square body NV or underscore NV on Instagram. Trying to talk him into doing a channel too. He's got a 674 that he LS swapped, and he's the one that got me into uh, an LBZ. He has an LBZ himself, and his is a hell of a lot cleaner than mine. His has a lot of work done to it, and like I get a lot of my ideas for this from him. So, and uh, I, I told him next time we go over there, we're showing his truck off because his truck is sick. Anyway, thank you for stopping in. Check me out on Instagram, it's Endless Wishlist 6.0. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.